Hello, and welcome to another exciting edition of 30 Minutes. I'm Gail Everett, Communications and Marketing Specialist for the City of Richland. And I'm Aaron Lambert, Senior Planner for the City of Richland. And welcome to City View. Thank you. <laughs> this month, we've applied our sunscreen and ventured down to beautiful Bateman Island. The island sits at the confluence of the Yakima and Columbia Rivers. The 160-acre island, that's a big island, has a rich cultural history and the area is used for boating and fishing, bird and vegetation watching, and hiking. Recreational access to Bateman Island is provided via a 500-foot-long earthen causeway. Aerial photos indicate that the causeway was built between 1939 and 1940 for agricultural access. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers purchased Bateman Island in the late 1950s and it is leased to the City of Richland under a 50-year agreement. For several years, the Mid-Columbia Fisheries Enhancement Group has taken an in-depth look at the causeway because it doesn't allow water to flow along the south side of the island. Because of this, the Yakima River water backs up to the west of the island, collects heat, and leads to a very high summer water temperature, which can also then lead to troublesome salmon runs, and we don't want that. We've been looking at a project to see whether the causeway that connects the city of Richland to Bateman Island might be contributing to high water temperatures in the lower Yakima River. As a fish enhancement group, we're curious about that because we're interested in the time of year in the spring when young salmon move down the Yakima River into the Columbia and out to the Pacific Ocean. And then we're curious about late summer when adult salmon come from the Pacific Ocean up the Columbia and up the Yakima. Currently, as the young fish are coming down, they get into the Yakima Delta area around Bateman Island and find a lot of hungry bass waiting for them. Water is warm, conditions are just great if you're a bass. In the late summer, when the adults come back from the Pacific Ocean, they actually need to hang out in the Columbia River for more than a month while they wait for the area around Bateman Island to cool down before they can move up into the Yakima River. So we've wondered, what if there were flow through the Bateman Island Causeway? If we had flowing water conditions to the west of Bateman Island, might the temperatures in the area be cooler? And might conditions be better for salmon? We're just a nonprofit organization with a focus on fish recovery, and we will make a proposal to a state agency, probably DNR, for changing the causeway. But our focus is on fish, and we know that we don't know everything about the other values in the area. So we are very much wanting to hear from other individuals and organizations what else is important in that area. We know it's not just fish. So we know that there are businesses like the marina and like guide services. We know it's a huge recreational resource for wakeboarding and fishing and hiking and bird watching. And we know that there's also just attachment, place attachment. The causeway has been there for 70 years and it's, it's part of our landscape. So before we work to try and put together a proposal for change, we want to make sure that we really understand the existing condition. And we're pulling together a committee of folks who represent each of those values to help us think about what might be a compromise solution where things could get better for salmon without causing undue harm to human resources in the area. I just want to emphasize how thrilled I am that the residents of the Tri-Cities are really up for talking about this. You know, in our first public meeting on Tuesday, we had people representing very diverse and rather opposing opinions on the area, and we saw incredible dialogue. People were willing to listen, they were willing to talk, and they were willing to think about creative compromises. And I think that's, that's just a real hallmark of this area, where we live, and also fits in with what we see in the Yakima River in general. The Yakima River Basin is known nationally for the fact that people talk to each other and work towards compromises. So I'm thrilled to be a part of that and I invite other folks to please join the conversation. After the focus group develops alternatives, another public workshop will be held in October. A Facebook page named Bateman Island Community has been created and is a great site for comments and information. Currently, there is no funding or permitting for any changes to be made to the causeway. Once an alternative is agreed upon, the Mid-Columbia Fisheries Enhancement Group will move forward with seeking funding and permitting. 
The causeway is not owned by anyone. However, the Washington State Department of Natural Resources has ownership of all aquatic lands, and they are the underlying landowner of the area. And we'll have the final say regarding what will happen to the causeway.